Happy New Year, everyone. And what better way to kick off 2024 than with new music from everybody's favourite Parker Monkey and his new guitar aficionado, John Squire, best known for his painfully catchy riff and solo contribution to the Stone Roses. Liam Gallagher and John Squire have joined forces on a brand new song. Well, on an album actually, but more on that later. The new single is called Just Another Rainbow, and I have some things to say about this song. Some good, mostly not good. Now, the lead up to this song has been mega, as Liam would put it, an absolute hype machine. Liam's actually said on X, formerly Twitter, uh, recently that this upcoming collaboration project is better than Revolver and will be psychedelic sounding. Very modest, Liam, as always. Now, those are big words. And I have to say, I was kind of genuinely chomping at the bit to hear this new song. And I had really high hopes for this first single, especially when you consider what Liam's actually delivered in the past few years. Ever since Oasis split up way back in 2009, massive credit to the guy. He's delivered three fantastic albums with really, really strong songs on every one. And if Liam didn't have that monkey on his back that is his Oasis legacy, if he was a brand new, previously unknown artist, and these were his first three albums, i.e. nothing else to live up to, nothing else to be compared to, you'd be saying, wow, we have a really, really exciting new talent in the rock space. Really great quality output in terms of songwriting, production and melody. So naturally, yeah, like many of you, I was really pumped to hear this new single. And then I heard the song. I mean, take the title, Just Another Rainbow. I kind of feel like they should have just called it Just Another Song, because that's what it sounds like to me. Let me explain. Now, I was going to start with some positives, because there are some, but let's just cut to the chase here. I was just confused at the song really and I'm not really sure what Liam and John were trying to achieve with it. I mean first off there's very little to actually grab onto. No super catchy guitar riffs that you can sing over and over again in the shower. No memorable vocal melodies or hooks from Liam that get stuck in your head all day long like his solo material. I've heard the song three or four times now and I'd be hard pressed to remember how it goes if you asked me to sing it back to you right now. I also feel like Liam and John were trying to make a statement with this six minute first single because it's not your conventional three minute pop song. The trouble is, I'm not really sure what statement they were trying to make. Now, one thing is clear, John Squire can still play. His guitar sounds absolutely fantastic on this new song. Quite psychedelic sounding like Liam promised and it sounds quite fresh to be honest. And I didn't want to say it, but of course it sounds exactly like the Stone Roses. In fact, it's signature Stone Roses-esque guitar playing. Now, that's great and all, but in terms of serving the actual song, I just don't think John is doing that. For me, there's way too much John and not enough Liam in the song. The song kind of sounds like a John Squire instrumental and Liam's vocals almost sound like an afterthought. John's playing as well, whilst technically great sounding, is way too busy in some of the sections of the song for me. As a guitarist myself, I would be trying to exercise some sort of restraint in some of the sections of the songs, like the verses, just to give the song some more levels, somewhere to go, you know, somewhere to build up to. I actually really do like the solo section that comes in at around the three minute mark, to be fair. When the drums just cut out and John has his moment. Great work. But then his solo just carries on for like two more minutes. And I feel like he's not really saying much with the solo. Like he's playing lots of notes, but it's not really giving me much feeling wise. He's not really bringing out anything from me like Jimmy Page would, for example. Just not really feeling anything from it, sorry to say. But yeah, the song is almost six minutes in length and it just feels a bit bloated and not really put together or arranged in a way that makes me excited to hear the full six minutes. And then we come to the lyrics. Now I'm telling you, this is the reason why Far Out Magazine gave the song 1.5 stars, I'm telling you. I wonder what Noel thinks of this. So the lyrics are a bit underwhelming for me and quite simplistic, but I do like the imagery that the song paints. It's very Oasis-esque to use imagery of weather, like rain and rainbows and things like that, to paint different emotions. John Squire actually said in an interview with the NME recently, he said, to me the most obvious take on Just Another Rainbow is that it's about disappointment and the sentiment that you never really get what you want. Well, this song is a bit of a disappointment, John. Too harsh, maybe? I've also heard plenty of people call this song too predictable, which I think they're right about. It does kind of sound like an Oasis slash Stone Roses mashup, but that's not always a bad thing. I mean, they're two great sounds, to be fair. Now, what I certainly did not predict was Liam singing all of the colours of the rainbow in the middle of the song. Red and orange and yellow and green, blue, indigo, violet. Jesus, I'm not gonna lie, I burst out laughing when I heard that. It just comes out of nowhere in the song. Like, caught me completely off guard. And for me, it's like the least psychedelic move that the pair could have made when writing the song. It's just far too on the nose and not for me really, not one bit. So yeah, a bit disappointed about the new single, I have to say. However, we do have a 10 track album in the works according to Liam. Eight of the songs are finished 
and the last two are still being worked on, Liam apparently said in a recent interview with Zane Lowe on Apple Music. So we do have to wait a bit to hear the full album. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping that the album gives us a bit more to grab onto and enjoy than this first single. I am more interested to hear what you lot think though. I talk about this concept a lot on the channel. Music is a funny thing, right? It can leave a different impression on you over time. You can hate something on the first listen and then by the 10th listen, you're badly in love with it. So by no means am I writing this tune off. I'm just not really feeling it after the first couple of listens, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of the new song. Is it a grower? Does it live up to the expectation or is it just a bit of disappointment? And most importantly, did you find the bit where Liam sang all of the colours of the rainbow in the song as funny as I did? Let me know in the comments below. Shameless plug, my new single All In is out on all streaming platforms. Go take a listen if you fancy it. It's better than Liam and John's new tune, I'll tell you that. All jokes aside, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content like this. And if you are interested in watching some more of my videos, including why I think most people are wrong about Arctic Monkey's recent Glastonbury performance, then I will leave a link up here to a few videos that you might want to watch next. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.